Do you have no friends, no relationships, and you're feeling a bit lonely? I am too. Welcome to the Hostile Traveler, the place where we talk about mental health, travel, and a freedom of mind. Do you have no friends? I have no friends. I have no friends. Even if I said that correctly, I'm not sure, but I really don't have friends. I've become an anti-social extrovert. Growing up in my past, I was like always trying to be center of attention with the in crowd. But now at the later stages in my life, solitude. Being lonely is a good thing. Being alone is a good thing. It takes a lot of pressure off of you. And if you have the presence of mind or the force, if you will, you see people for what they are. The world is a wicked, wicked place. For those of us that can see and feel the world, it is a wicked place. There's a lot of backstabbing, infighting, you know, cheating, and things that I just don't want to do. Perhaps you have no friends because you have high morals. Perhaps you have no friends or no romantic relationships right now because you deserve more in life. Perhaps you have no friends because you radiate such positive energy, you're running a lot of darkness away. I've been told that there's a silver lining on every cloud, every rain cloud. The sun is going to come up. The tide goes out. The tide comes in. Look at yourself. Look at yourself and tell yourself that you're worthy. It's that positive energy you have. It is the willingness to keep getting back up, trying again when you fail. It's you getting the better of someone and you are not even aware that the game is being played, not to mention the rules. Look at that. Take a look. Perhaps that's why you have no friends. If you're a special, a chosen one, as they say, you're not going to have friends. It's in the King James version of the Bible that you're not of this world. So pretty much the world's going to treat you a little harshly. I think it's 144,000. Many are called, but the chosen are a few and you're one of them. So it's time to look at your art. It's time to work on the goals and dreams that you've been planning your whole life. It's time to travel. It's time to embrace who you are and say, hey, being a nonconformist, being an independent thinker, being an adventure seeker, whether it's hiking, travel or whatnot, makes you different. Not putting all your negativity or what you may feel on social media makes you different. Not being a womanizer makes me different. Being someone who can lead without being the leader makes you different. Do me a huge favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and remember these two things before I go. Number one, perhaps you don't have friends because you radiate such positive energy. You are light in a world of darkness, this wicked, wicked world that we live in, so you're gonna get a lot of pushback. And number two, there is peace in solitude. I hope you find it. Do me a favor, follow me here on The Hostile Traveler, where we're talking about our mental health, travel, and freedom. Till the next time, have a great, great day and love yourself.